Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you very much for joining me today on my latest daily Liverpool news show. If you're new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. We're on our road to 5,000 subscribers and thank you so much for every single one of you that has subscribed and, and supports the channel. You are all amazing. All my fellow Liverpool fans around the world were one big family on this channel. So if you're a Liverpool fan and if you want to stay up to date on all the latest Liverpool news and one a place where you can just interact with all your fellow Liverpool fans from around the globe uh, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and, and get involved every single day for, for content got a couple of stories today we're going to be talking about Ian Robin his quotes on Virgil van Dijk and his thoughts on the big match between Bayern Munich and Liverpool bit of Naby Keita the latest up injury updates as well we'll start off the show with all that in the lead up to the Brighton game and then to final story really I've got the quotes coming from Nathaniel Klein his he is hit back in terms of the quotes coming from Warnock anyway last week we'll get straight into the injury news update obviously we're playing Brighton on Saturday I cannot wait it's a big match that we need to win to keep the momentum in the league so Jürgen Klopp today in his press conference did come out and say Jürgen Klopp has confirmed Joel Matip and Jordan Henderson will return to training ahead of Liverpool's trip to Brighton at Hove and Albion on Saturday Dejan Lovren is still a, a while off anyway he, he, I can't believe he went off injured it looks like a bad injury um, in terms of a muscular injury as well we could be left in it with a scenario with Virgil van Dijk is possibly the only fully fit centre back at the club we were left playing the 16 year olds against Wolves in the in the FA Cup where he, he done a great job the young Dutch lad so that's great that we've got those two coming back from injury as well I'm going to go on to the Naby Keita as you can see their little Instagram post he said proud to be part of the best XI of Africa thank you CAF online and then you can see another picture as well. He is in the starting eleven. Obviously, Eric Bailly, uh, Kudabali, Benatia, uh, obviously Juventus, Odier of Spurs, and Yango uh, in goal. Jonathan Partey, Mardes, Naby Keita. What a midfield that would be if, if someone actually, if we bought Mardes and Partey. <laughs> uh, two great midfielders as well. Alan, obviously up front, our two main lads with Pierre Emnick Abamyang as well. What a forward line that would be if we did sign Abamyang. <laughs> but uh, well done, Naby, and uh, well done, Sadio Mane as well. And we're going to the quote of Ian Robin, the, the obviously the ex-Chelsea winger. He is quoted as saying, as you can see above, for us, it was perhaps the worst possible draw, but it's going to be a great challenge. And if we have a good day and play the way we want, I'm sure we'll make it very difficult for Liverpool obviously that was Iron Robin on drawing Liverpool in the Champions League and then he, he had a little talk about the, his fellow countrymen he's he has grown as a player but also as a personality I am happy for him where he is at at this moment he is a key player at a gigantic club and he is the captain of the Dutch national team he deserves all the compliments. The Nathaniel Klein quotes now, obviously hitting back at Neil Warnock. He is quoted as saying, My intention wasn't to hurt anyone. It's down to footballing reasons. I enjoyed working with him at Crystal Palace, obviously Warnock. And I have a lot of respect for the man. He added, They've got qu great quality players here. The style of play is similar to what I play at Liverpool. I'm looking forward to the challenge and can't wait to get going. So that that is so important. I think that like any player, you want to move to a club in which is very much similar and is very similar in terms of the football and philosophy and the style. So Bournemouth play a very, as Klein has just said, then fast flowing attacking football. Just a little bit on Matt Hummels. Obviously, a lot of years have been asking. Uh, don't look too much into these rumors, everyone. Obviously, it'd be uh, it'd be a dream. If Matt Hummels did come to Liverpool in the near future anyway. But I think if you look at all the sources, there's nothing really very credible in terms of James Pearce or anyone fully coming out and talking about it. So as much as we all want to get our hopes and dreams up of Liverpool potentially signing the German international winner, World Cup winner as well. Great defender, Jürgen Klopp has worked with him in the past at Borussia Dortmund. He did sign the lad. But he's a great player. I'd love Liverpool to sign him on a free on a on a loan. That's what the rumours are suggesting. But if Liverpool did sign Matt Hummels, everyone, what would be your thought? He's a great, experienced 
international signing as well. Obviously, they let Socrates go in the window as well prior to this season. That's obviously Dortmund let Socrates go to Arsenal. But I highly doubt they would very much let Hummels go to Liverpool or any other club for that matter anyway. But let me know your thoughts. Would you like Liverpool to sign Max Hummels? Um, on loan by the sounds of it anyway let me know your thoughts on that story everyone yeah and just a final story there as well everyone if you're a FIFA player EA did release and Virgil van Dijk is very much happy I think by the, by all accounts what he's been tweeting on Twitter and Everton EA have released a league SBC Virgil van Dijk obviously following on from his team of the year cards as well so if you don't play FIFA there's probably a lot of you like what are you chatting about but if you are a FIFA fan there is a special card on FIFA 2019 of Virgil van Dijk, 89 rated. That looks very, very lovely anyway. So if you want to pick that up, make sure you do head over to FIFA 19. Hope you have a lovely rest of your night. Enjoy your Saturday. Hopefully Liverpool do get three points. I'm pretty sure we will, but it'll be a very tricky, against a tricky opposition in Brighton. But we can do this, can't we, everyone? But make sure you do. Check out my other videos on the channel. If you're new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And if you are enjoying the content, make sure to drop a like on the video. We're absolute legends. But everyone, enjoy the rest of your Friday night and enjoy the weekend as well if you possibly can. But hopefully Liverpool can grab all three points at Brighton. As always, Reds, around the world, you'll never walk alone. Cheer